The Music City is all about rhythm. Nashville is defined by a legendary music scene that boasts the dawn of rising stars at the smallest honky-tonk bars. And as this tour rides into town, we find ourselves tapping along to a new tune that's growing into much more than just a one-hit wonder. Emily Sullivan! <laughs> Nicholas Antle! While the youth movement is currently topping the charts, you can never count out the classics. This course is our stage, each throw a performance set to the unique rhythm of flight with the latest headlining show just one stop away. The 2024 Music City Open starts now. Hello and welcome to round one of the Music City Open presented by Lone Star Disc. This is our six pro tour event of the year. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Hawk. It was pretty amazing. She did that voiceover in real time just now. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, one take wonder. I was just like. <laughs> yeah, I actually just like freestyled it over the top of the video too. It's unreal talent. I'm a poet. <laughs> just kidding. Thanks to the Jomez team for the sweet previews that we have every week at each stop. Joining us on the feature card, last year's winner, Kristen Tatar, also last week's winner at Jonesboro. Birdie rate last year, or so far in 2024, 42% nuts, parking 15% <laughs> on the holes, landing in circle two, or circle two putting is 22%. Deanne Carey, so far in 2024, 70% of the time finding the fairway, 50% of the time finding circle two for birdie, and 71% of her circle one X putting going in. She's on team Lone Star, and she's the featured player of the week. Cadence Burge, we've seen her a few times now. I believe last year at Idlewild was one of her uh, big feature card or lead card appearances. 76% circle 1x putting, 65% fairway hits, landing in circle 2, 42% of the time. Haiti Line, we've seen her on a couple of lead cards this year in 2024, 31% birdie rate, 62% of the time finding herself putting for birdie in circle two and 76% of the time on the fairway so far this season. Let's jump right into hole one. We did reorganize the course, so you might recognize this hole, but uh, the order's totally different. It's an uphill par three, 308 feet. Gentle little turnover is a nice shot to get all the way up there, or if you're getting really aggressive, you can throw the flex. Um, it is uphill, so it plays a little longer. The, guard, the green is pretty guarded. Guarded. Guard is pretty greened, if you will. <laughs> um, it's, I don't want to say super nervy first shot, but it's definitely not a gimme, even at 308 feet. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live on the tee with your 955 FTO tee time to the 2024 Music City Open presented by Lone Star Disc. This is your FTO feature card. First on the tee, welcome D and Carrie. Like I said in the opening preview, Deanna is Team Lone Star Disc, the presenting sponsor of the event. And if Deanna wants a chance at winning, she's going to have to throw thousand rated rounds every every single round because that's what we're doing here <laughs> in 2024. Is, yep, that's how you do it. Great shot. Next on the tee, please welcome Heidi Lyman. AD throwing clash discs generally, although she is open bag. Worst mistake on this hole is early left. Um, working this right side like Haiti's doing is the way to get there. Wow. Gorgeous shot. So much power. Is that a mid? I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? She just put it in. Yay. Haiti threw a steady cookie, which is a fairway driver. Kristen won this event last year. So defending her her uh, championship title from last year. It's hard to defend, though, from Stat Mando. It says Music Cities has had a unique winner every year since 2014, meaning 10 years, 10 winners. Wow. Isn't that nuts? That is nuts. 
And also, um, but Kristen's the first person to have two wins this year because we have True. had five unique winners up until this point. So if anyone can do it, yeah, it's this one right here. Mm -hmm. The forehand's a good play to be safe in the fairway. Maybe get yourself a circle two look. Very difficult to find the circle. Cadence statistically with the longest hair on tour. And kind of a classic mistake. Right side's better than left, though. This is only our second year at Mill Ridge for the course, but it has been, Nashville has hosted national tours in the past um, and one other pro tour of um, elite event, but that was not at Mill Ridge. Has Mill Ridge been the last three years only? Yeah. Yeah. Or two? Is it three? two or three? I Maybe think it's three. And, and we might it's have played three. a round here and a round at another course as well. I don't think so. I think it's just been three years, but I could be wrong. My memory is entirely fallible. <laughs> Ooh, Dan giving it a really good bid from just outside circle one. Dan's a very good putter. We're definitely going to see some good ones. As you can see, a little bit windy today. It started kind of warm in the morning. Wind picked up, got a little misty out there. It was strange, though. You saw T-shirts, you saw jackets. <laughs> Shorts, pants, yeah, that umbrellas. Springtime in Tennessee is wild, especially as a front's pushing through. Great birdie from Haiti there. Yeah, what a start. Even though this is only 308, it plays a lot more difficulty dif more difficultly. This line is very touchy. And there's They've changed the course a lot. There's really not that many attackable par threes, um, as we'll see later. So it's good to stack them up early. It's a big course out here. We're going to see some huge shots coming up. Yeah, even under three at 308 feet, there were only... Sorry, the stats. The suspense. Oh, the stats look different than they used to. <laughs> Interesting. Everything's changed. Hold to 315 feet. This is a downhill shot with um, I, with an out-of-bounds line on the right-hand side, but it is pulled off of the tree line. So if you go in there, you can be out-of-bounds, but most of the time you're just having to scramble. That left side tree patch is kind of what you want to be missing. You can go forehand. You can go backhand straight shot with a mid. The basket's elevated and the out-of-bounds just wrap around behind the green. So don't come in too hot. Yeah, it comes in pretty quick back there, even on approach shots. This backhand line, oh, whoa, you can see Haiti definitely overturns it, but also that, I think, headwind just flipped it right over, dealing with some rain, too. I'm actually surprised not to see her go sidearm, but they really cleaned up this middle patch a whole lot, making the backhand much more tempting. Deanne comes out early as well. It didn't really call for rain, so... Some, these ladies might not even have umbrellas. Yeah, like, it's, it's just a pretty strong mist out there. Yes. Here's Kristen taking the sidearm route, giving it a lot of width. It does need to check up because there's an OB line back there. And a little bit higher, and that would have been a good line, but you really got to get some height and some hyzer on the sidearm. Okay, the PDGA live app was updated. There's some changes, but I figured them out. Whole one, we only had four birdies. Okay. This is another one that is a uh, nice shorty still, but way more birdies. 27% of the field getting oh, this one. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. This is still a technical shot. We can see our feature card here definitely finding some trouble. Yeah, three times as many birdies as whole one. The change this year is that elevated basket. They did not have that last year. Mm, good point. Deanne left with a tricky little upshot here Ooh. and gets a rough kick out of bounds. She wasn't really left with a whole lot there. Cadence with maybe 100 left. 
And this is what I'm talking about. Oh, no, okay, it's good. But that OB line's only five feet behind her. Deanne just gonna lay up for her bogey. Let's see if Kristen gives it a go. This hole had the highest percentage of circle two putts made of the day. Oh, cool. On this elevated I mean, basket. Elevated with OB right behind it? That's I, sweet. I know. It's, it's kind of a weird stat for this one. We love a weird stat. Kristen trying to land her own circle two putt to save par. Haiti right side, and it unfortunately crawls out of the basket over the rim. She also will have to settle with a no out-of-bounds bogey. So it's kind of interesting. I think we only have 40, is it 41 mm -hmm. competitors? So a little bit smaller field. Last year was 50. We're missing some of the, the big names. No Missy Gannon, no Owen Scoggins, no Paige Pierce. It's really hard to... Um, to stack a full field the week before a four-day major. Totally. Yeah, with it's, a big drive. Uh-huh. Um, so I can see why a lot of players are choosing to take this week off. But I think as the schedule gets busier and more tightly packed, we're going to see more weeks off where the yeah. top players are not all going to be there. More strategy for sure. Mm-hmm. Like Erica said earlier, too, this they really stretched this course out this year. The changes made the course longer and more difficult and a lot less birdie, so... Hole three, it's kind of a combination. They took out two technical par threes. Uh, we're going to an old basket that's gonna look familiar, but first you have to lay up to this out of bounds zone that's about 280 feet off the tee. Mid range or sidearm are good plays for the right-handed player. Uh, then you gotta carry this OB and from the very edge of that OB line where you lay up, it's nearly 400 feet to get up to this green. So absolutely, yeah, it's like 385, I think. So super power player hole. And it's also just really difficult to lay up. It's dangerous to lay up close to the OB line to be able to attack. And then there's one tiny strip of OB all the way on the right side, or sorry, in <laughs> safe inbounds area, but it's almost too small to land on. We can see Cadence trying to get aggressive with the layup and she pushes out of bounds deep. And I think that will be a pretty common, not mistake on this hole, but you do yeah. have to get aggressive to get there on the second shot. Yeah. And if you lay up too short, even the par can be hard. You see Haiti going nice and high, not messing around with the OB. She's probably, what, 40 feet short of it at least. Um, and she's got distance, so she can maybe get a putt. But I am a little bummed. I like the two holes they took out. I think sidearm's the better play because the OB kind of uh, like wraps to the right and there's like a little bit more room over there. That's such a confusing looking tee shot. <laughs> I You're like just it. throwing right at a wall. No, not Deanne shot. <laughs> I mean like what it looks yeah. like from the tee. I was giving you a hard time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was a great shot. But yeah, it it's... It's odd. So you can see the stakes on the right. Um, most players are going to at least try to push over there a little bit to make sure they cross. Haiti making it look like no big no deal. Big deal. She, she does get a mean little roll, though. Yeah, that right side of the opening to the green can be pretty brutal. Sometimes it's just pitch out territory. So Deanne, nice and close to this OB uh, line, so it makes this shot a little bit easier. But... Most women gonna with a good shot land still in circle two. I think she she's probably there. It's weird to see the mist in some of the camera angles mm -hmm. and not others. Kristen with all the power she needs just needs to fade, get a little ground play. Yep. Right at the opening of the gap. 40% of the field with a bogey or worse on this hole. Yeah. There were a lot of doubles and triples. This one was, I mean, sorry. Yeah, doubles and a triple. Yeah. Cadence overturning it. She is going to cross up there on that narrow strip 
of, I don't even want to call it a fairway. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what kind of error it is. Oh my, From it's like a stake. path, like yeah. a walking path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Caden's throwing five right now and Ooh. thankfully putting. Yeah. Deanne with a pretty blocked view of the green, sending it. Yeah, I love that. I love this green too. It's so pretty, the fairy green. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the lots of moss. Circle. There's ferns. Ferns. Cool rocks. Hades third. A really nice, strong looking kind of layup putt shot. <laughs> Kristen, long look for birdie here. Soft run. It'll be a par. There were only two birdies today. Holland Hanley and Natalie Ryan got the three. Yeah. That's like beyond a bonus. That's got to feel closer to an eagle. Cadence in with a nice little hyzer putt. Like this one feels great to par. Yeah, only one person got to circle one yeah. for birdie. Deanne for a nice par there. Almost feels like a birdie. She doesn't maybe look thrilled about it, but, you know, it's fine. Man, I wonder who got it inside the circle. If it was Holland. Wait, who was the other one? Holland and Natalie. And Natalie, yeah. That's a huge second shot. Last year's winner, Kristen Tatar, was seven down overall for the entire tournament. So we'll see what happens here. Cheers to helping new players, to high fives and encouragement, to being a positive light while helping grow the sport. Cheers to you, Ranger team. Thank you. Moving on to hole four, this tee pad is down in this little ditch. You have to throw up the hill with a nose up angle and ideally land just somewhere out here in the field. The second shot, you have to go carry straight for a little while and then crash back down to this basket on the right hand side. Last year, we had a shorter basket. This year, we're playing last year's MPO basket and we do have a new tee pad as well. Yeah, it used to be farther to the left and an easier birdie. Um, now, the tee shot is actually maybe easier, but the distance is is greater. So that second shot's really tough. I mean, Again, the, a lot of circle two looks. The MPO basket was a good 120 feet pass, right? Yeah. Last mm -hmm. than where we were before. But I'm not sure like distance wise, what the difference is. I didn't check from last year to this year. Um, but that the second shot's definitely quite a bit farther. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that really. Was rough mistake here from Kristen. Oh, what a good second kick. I don't know. Yeah, I don't is know. Is it good? I don't know. This is bizarre. Yeah, Whoops. strange not to see her. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do see a lot of ladies trying to work the right side. There is that OB line on the left that comes into play pretty quickly if you just kind of sky something nose up and get too much hyzer. Yeah, it's probably better to be on that left side totally. to approach, but that it does come into play so fast. That's a pretty looking shot from Cadence. That, let's see. Oh. Little slow on the Excel sheet today. That was an S line FD from Cadence. So fairway driver, just making sure she gets out the gap. Kristen second makes it out of the gap and she's can potentially get there, yeah, but it's a huge it's shot. It's gonna be a big shot. You can see Cadence's nice shot, still even kind of close to the OB there. I think going fairway driver's like smart, for, especially for how young she is. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like it's tempting to just full send it. Yeah. And that's kind of where the R basket was last year, mm -hmm. a little bit more to the right of that. You can see it, the green base of the basket poking out. Yes, Deanne. Yeah. That was a great shot. Fantastic. Yeah. Last year it was just more of a forehand little chip. This year it looks like you're Oh man, that's to... crazy. It's only 5.30. I'm like fully processing that in this moment <laughs> right now. 
It's just hard to get distance on the tee shot. And Kristen does get her third up to the green to potentially recover par. Haiti in a good spot here is choosing to go backhand again, which is interesting. She's such a good sidearm. She leaves that one low. Oh, cadence stretched all the way out from the right side rough. About as good as she could do from there. There was only two holes today that averaged under par. Yeah. That is wild. I know. That's kind of what I started to say, too, before the ad break there is uh, only three women last year were under par overall for the tournament. And we did have some rough weather, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But I would argue that the course is going to play a couple strokes harder for the majority of the field. Cadence unable to save par there. Let's see if Kristen can do it. This is basically a birdie if she makes it. Mm -hmm. She was four feet off the tee. <laughs> wow. Great. Gosh, she is great. <laughs> there were only seven birdies today. Kristen got two opportunities at the tee shot to get hers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Deanne can cash hers. Nice. nice. Yep. That's great. That's a big one. Big arm Deanne. Mm -hmm. It feels funny big to say. Big distance Deanne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haiti playing cleanly. The only one on our feature card at even par so far, which is going to be a good score today. Just generally playing even par on this course is going to be solid all weekend. Yeah, they added so much out of bounds. Or just tightened, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. All over the course. Wow, look at some of this happening, though. Jessica Weiss and Stacey Ronsley and Holland Hanley, three down. Through four? Wow. Mm -hmm. Dang. Hole five, par four, 549 feet. Uh, they moved our tee pad up, so we used to lay up before this gap. Now you can get all the way through the gap or at least lined up to it. And then the basket used to be short left. Now it's down here to the right more. You got kind of two gaps you can take. Um, I actually do like this one. It's a really difficult tee shot to get all the way through. But once you're through, it's, it's a attackable birdie. Like I would say more so than the last one, even though it's slightly longer. Let's do a check-in with Holland Hanley. Oh, she just got a turkey? Wow. Huge drive, just a little chip shot to the green. Coming in a little left and high, but giving herself a putt or a fourth birdie. Oh man, way in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's speed control is definitely Wow. And Holy moly. An element you need to think about on the screen, but I guess Holland doesn't. She'll just make a sick comeback putt for birdie. Yeah, what low ceiling? Four in a row. Oh, do you know any regional birds? Ooh, I'll be thinking. Okay. I like the change of this hole. I think it's awesome to be able to let people get through this gap on the first shot because sometimes because of how narrow it is, it was really difficult to get your second shot any sort of direction mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, I think this is one of the really good changes for sure. Um, what Deanne did, pulling it to the right, is definitely the better mistake. If you end up in the corner on the left, it's jail over there. And that's a massive shot from Haiti. That's about where we saw Holland just land. Kristen looking for her first birdie here. She's going orbit grace, and that's beautiful. Way through the gap, you can see that's just about where Holland had landed. Cadence pulling hers a little bit too far to the right, but maybe not trying actually, to go for it. It could be that could be her her play potentially. Oh, it is. That's an S-line MD5. So she's just going mid to the gap. Maybe playing this one for par? Because I don't know if you can get up and down from here. Yeah, but you'd have to have pretty elite distance, I think. But maybe she does. 
Huh? Yeah, she does. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. I mean, play. now that I'm thinking about it, I think the gap is only about 300 feet off the T or so. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that only leaves 250, doesn't it? Wow, math. It might be even less than 300 feet off. Hmm. That's like last year's play. You had to lay up. Like, people couldn't make it through the gap. That's cool. Here's Deanne getting, oh, just around the tree. She nicks it and stays inside the circle. Kristen second. I think the more common gap is the right side, so you can just throw this simple hyzer. Parked. That'll get Kristen back to even. First birdie of the round. Look how far Haiti is. Like, it's just a little chip. A little chippy chip. And a smooth looking shot up to the green. Oh, it's actually a smooth looking <laughs> chippy chip. Thank you. Yeah, chippy chip right onto the basket. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. It's like the one time that sound is like welcomed versus a putt. Thunk. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Little bank shot. Love the game plan from Cadence and executes it well. Yeah, man, I didn't even think about trying that, honestly. It's too tempting to go for the gap. A quarter of the field birding this one. That's 11 birdies out of 41 competitors. Deanne unable to convert the par. She's going to take a bogey there. <laughs> Cadence with her first birdie of the round. Her and Deanne are now going to be tied. And Kristen back to even. Haiti moves one under, and we go on to hole six walking the opposite direction that we normally do, which I forget every time. I somehow still haven't learned to not turn right. It's left now. <laughs> Colin, four down through five, as we have seen. Shredding. Hole six, a new hole at 675 feet. It has pretty tight OB, enough to make the right hand backhand feel risky off the tee. Yeah, I think a sidearm is a nice safe play. You can see that that OB kind of dips in and prevents the hyzer. Um, so you kind of have to throw a turnover at the OB. Uh, whereas a forehand, you can kind of get to the level of that weird little dip. Um, and then you're actually going downhill on the second shot to an elevated pin. It is a little bit guarded. Um, again, the elite level distance players aren't gonna find this one that challenging, I think distance wise, but keeping it in bounds can be tough. And I think Holland, oh yeah, she, man, she launched that thing. It's kind of cool she's on the right side too. Most drives end up a little bit more left. She kind of had a more open look at it there. And look how great that ground play just worked out. Sometimes mm -hmm. this grass can get pretty thick and lush out here. Lush. It is nice to be able to throw the second shot kind of downhill. And you do get some huge skips on this one. Yes, here we go. Love the sidearm. That tree clump on the right-hand side that you can see really narrows the OB right in the landing zone. Ooh, and this is skied too much from Haiti. She's going to be in bounds, but in a terrible spot. That is in right behind that tree patch I was talking about. Tree clump. I like clump. Tree clump. Yeah. It, it's not its own patch. No. Clump. Kristen with a more linear line is going to get past the clump. Ideal. Caden's going to show us the backhand here. This is definitely a play you can do where you kind of just throw at the trees and let it hyzer. Um, even these can get a little bit risky depending the ground play, but she lands safe. It's a nice play when the wind isn't too <laughs> high. Uh, we had more wind in practice than in tournament days, which is kind of nice. It was, like, not not too bad today. 10, 15 miles an hour. Wow, Deanne just making it look like the widest fairway ever. Yeah, absolutely center cut. Look how pinched Haiti is here, having to throw at out-of-bounds again. 
And she Oof. is really pushing that line. Yeah, she is. Safe, though. And some good forward progress. And a nice big exhale. <laughs> Caden's not quite able to hyzer into the green unless she goes around that tree patch. <laughs> oh, this one is a patch. We have a clump and a patch. Wow. Oh, and she finds her Whoa. way through. That must be a flippy disc. That pushed so nicely. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was crazy. Kristen left with a similar shot that we just saw from Holland, able to go around the right side of these trees, which is, that's nice. And there's that big ground play we were talking about. Kristen going to have about 45 feet left to an elevated pin for a birdie look. Deanne looking like she's lining up the turnover shot instead. Oh, flex. Oh, yeah. I don't know what anyone's doing. Well, it's this is this one's interesting that way. I think the way the trees line up. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't throw the forehand, you're left with that shot that Deanne just threw, and it's it's a little awkward. Yeah, and that out of bounds comes up so fast on the deep left side. So if it hyzers out too much, like we saw Kristen's almost do. Ooh, pretty little flip up, a little bit uh, <laughs> too much power on it. But Haiti gets some tree love there. What do you think that's like? Too much power. <laughs> Dan just going to lay that up for par. Here's Kristen for a birdie. Nice soft bid, but she did have a high ceiling to navigate in order to get to the elevated basket. Yeah, she clipped a little branch. Cadence. For two in a row. Nice. One of seven birdies on the day today. Hmm. Second one. Little low, little right from Haiti. Deanne with some nice clean playing on this hole and taking her par. Cadence with the highlight birdie there on our feature card. And a brand new hole. Yeah, that flexi shot was pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Y'all can see how it's very easy, or birdies are gettable here, but it's very easy to walk away with a bogey or worse. Seven. It's a par three, 315 feet. Uh, you'll recognize this one if you've watched previous years. There is an OB line on the right. Uh, comes into play, especially if you take this narrow tunnel. If you have the sidearm, though, that's the play, in my opinion. Uh, there's no real OB on the left, just a ditch that's nice and casual. Real relaxed ditch over there, not too worried. Um, you do have to swing the sidearm out pretty wide with a stable disc. The shot that feels perfect on the sidearm ends up in the final tree um, and gets caught. The shot that's like, oh, that looks too wide, ends up in the circle. It's pretty nuts. Yeah. Holland checking in. She's got five birdies in a row. Throws a nice spiky sidearm. Let's see how close she got. Jessica Weiss, three down as well. Different style of sidearm generally than Holland, but um, I like the width here and she's going to get yep. the ground play. Yeah, I can see Holland's got caught up in that last tree I was talking about, but she has a pretty open look from 42 feet. Lots of chains, but not quite able to dunk it. 
Jessica Weiss, though. Four down through seven now. Making the course look easy. Back with our feature card. Ooh, tunnel. You don't see that many tunnel shots. You don't see that many people attacking this gap. No, we talked about it last year. This is one of those tunnels that in practice you're like, mm, feasible. And yeah. then you get into a tournament and it you're does like, that like cartoon tunnel thing where it stretches yeah. away and you're like, Aww. wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to throw this sidearm that I maybe don't have the distance for. Oh, yeah. That nice. looks perfect. Just needs to chill. Yeah, we've seen some impressive rollaways on this hill. It doesn't look super sloped on camera, but in person, it can definitely take a disc and roll it away. Deanne not scared of the tunnel here. Ooh, that is the worst tree. It's yes. so dense. And that's the danger of that tunnel as well. You got Obi on the right, but then mostly that tree on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be out of bounds. Haiti with the destroyer. Gonna be flirting with that last tree, I think. Yep. You, you know how I knew that? Because it looked perfect. <laughs> Cadence, no choice but to do a little forehand turnover shot to the green. Checks up great. Nice speed control on that downhill. Haiti from about where we saw Holland just make... Or just missed that putt left side. Haiti gives it a good run. Comes up short, though. A quarter of the field got this birdie 10 out of the 41 competitors. Man, Deanne in the rough. She used to go stretch out forehand roller. Oh, my gosh. Oh, forehand. Okay. That wasn't really a gap, but she made it work. Aren't we all just making it work? <laughs> Kristen for birdie. Nice. Moves to one under with that one. Deanne almost scrambling that par, but a few too many right side chains. Cadence with a great forehand, approach shot, tap in, par. Katie going to do the same. 56% of the field parring this hole. This was one of the two holes that did average under par. Hmm. The easiest wow. hole of the day, actually. Man, Holland, five down through seven. Jessica Weiss, as we just saw, four down through seven. Evelina, Stacy, three down. Some great scores on the front here. Moving on to hole eight, 621 feet. You want to throw a drive right through here. This is a very tight out of bounds area. That left side is out of bounds in the tree line, the right side all the way in that tall grass. Your second shot really is dictated by where your first shot ends up. If you get tangled in the trees, you can attack, but if you manage to get some distance and land in the middle, you can attack down this narrow fairway that is, again, still out of bounds, lined on both sides. It wraps around behind the basket, and if you come in too hot, you can very easily skip down to the left OB. Yeah, same hole as last year, and this is a, a good one for the entire field, I think. Silva getting some friendly filtering through the tree branches. Love it. She's dead center and able to attack this green. Pulling. She's good. Yeah, pulled out a, what looked like a slower speed disc. It hyzered out just a little bit, but stayed in bounds. She's such a good putter too. Yes, she is. And she's bogey free two down. That's got to feel good. The bogey free probably almost better than <laughs> the under par. Yeah. yeah. Let's check out Jessica Weiss now working that sweet flip up game that she has skirts by those left trees gets huge distance Holland Hanley a much lower more linear approach a little turned and burned but it checks up just before that out of bounds line perfectly she can see the basket 
Colin lined up nicely to the gap here. Wow. Messes around a lot up, up top. <laughs> but it works out. Yeah. What is this? This one's this one's a little mean because the OB is on the left side. I was about to creek. say, how is she not out of bounds? Yeah, so like if you go OB on the left, you still have to go from in there. Mm. Which is so with a stroke. Cruel. Yeah. yeah. But it's really hard to find it. Um Jessica Weiss, one of the best forehand roller players we do have in the game, gets out nicely. Oh, too much steam. And look how they can stack up here. Holland, though, putting for birdie. Jeez. Yeah, mess around and find out. Yeah. Today, birdie. <laughs> Six down's crazy. Literally... <laughs> Seven be, down overall, one last year. Yeah, I think six down overall on this course could be best round of your life. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it definitely could. I actually said that. I, well, I said five down earlier <laughs> for me. <laughs> <It's a bad. laughs> Kristen Chris yanks it a little bit. She was not trying to go that way, and goodness. Yeah, it's amazing that that kick left, to be honest, and not right OB. <laughs> it's amazing. If I'm being honest. It's amazing. Cadence, good looking shot through the gap, but it is definitely high. She's waving for it to get down and it grabs on the grass. Yeah, that's just fine. She um, will have more of a hyzer line, but should be hopefully no problem to at least get a look. That was her active premium mentor. Hm. Haiti gonna find that casual little ditch over there. Again, just relaxed kind of Friday jeans at work vibe <laughs> over there. This is where a lot of players accidentally throw their drive. Um, it skirts just under those branches and works out just fine. But yeah, I, f I find myself accidentally yanking into that tree a lot. Oh my gosh, all the time. I mean, it's not a bad play to go under the branches over there because you want to be a little bit more on this right side. Just just a touch. Yep, Kristen flipping something up into the gap and messing around with a flip up here is sketchy, but uh, some more tree love. Mess around, find out. <laughs> yeah. Cadence on the left side, a lot more pinch. She can't see the basket, probably can barely see the green. Has to throw at out of bounds. Yeah, throwing at those trees oh, feels pretty sketchy. She's going to be OB. Plus, the hyzer from over there, it's hard to get inside the circle. You end up like in circle two mostly, just from the angle. Deanne, super good drive. And... Really nice approach. Super good approach. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Whoa, Oof. where is she going? What, Not, what a stance this is. I am surprised to see her choose a backhand there. Uh, it works. It works. Still left with kind of a patent pending blocked stance here. That's pretty. Yeah, very smooth. Wow. Wild ride, but she'll have a tap in par. The old double scramble. <laughs> As we all know. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Chill. Sit. You, you, uh -huh. you little. Cadence with a very aggressive play there. It might have been her only option. Kristen for birdie. A couple steps outside the circle. Leaves it short. This is one of the more difficult holes of the day. Not in the top five, but just barely. There was only four birdies. I think she is in bounds. It kind of bubbles out right there. Yeah, it does. Heck, oh, wow. What yeah, a putt. Yeah, dude. Nice scrambling. Yeah, even though it's a scramble for birdie, that's still going to feel good to make a big putt like that. Let's see it again. Slow miss. Uphill. Straddled from a ditch. So nice. Plus that hair in slow motion. Yeah, get it, Cadence. <laughs> Man, how did she just calmly walk that in? I don't know how to do that. The chill of a teenager. 
Deanne with one of those four birdies today. She's getting some of the harder ones. Mm-hmm. Haiti and Kristen going to take pars there. Deanne, so, such a nice birdie. Super good. One more to go on our front nine. Holland maintaining that six down. Jeez. So impressive on this front nine. It's crazy. Hole nine is a new hole. Uh, we are throwing at the water, which is out of bounds. Um, it's actually a blind shot. You kind of go uphill, then back down. The play, I think, is a flex out to the right um, that fades and gets some nice ground play going to the basket on the left. The left side kind of water OB comes into play surprisingly quick if you just kind of throw right at it. So the pin is like 80 feet left of where Evelina just threw. That was really, it looks so wide, <laughs> you know, her initial but, line. Yeah, but it got a some big downhill ground play. Mm -hmm. Evelina with the birdie. Let's also check in with Holland Hanley. Some wet conditions in this part of the round. Yeah, it's nice. The players that can just throw these simple, you know, kind of straight pushing hyzer shots versus the flex is, that must be nice. It, <laughs> see Jessica Wiest kind of skimming up trying to find it. Holland, even with all that power, still outside the circle, it looks like, and leaves it low. <laughs> Tongue out. She's partying. So close to just birdieing every single hole yeah. on the front nine. Crazy. It's like Jessica Weiss did get one bogey, but erases it immediately. Four down. Also very good. Just over a quarter of the field birdieing hole nine. This hole average right at even par. Yeah, it's not a bad hole by any means, but I actually do miss the over the water one. That mm -hmm. was kind I of... that was a cool hole too. It was a cool hole. I didn't like that last year's coming back over the water the other way, mm -hmm. but I love the first one. Um, this one's like, it's fine, you know? It's fine. There's that OB left that I was talking about. So it doesn't... <laughs> kind of get pulled off the water and like wrap around just a little bit. I feel like the T sign doesn't really show it quite as well as real life. This hole is very difficult to film. I feel like it's so. Yeah. Like it's hard to gauge. There's no like good landmarks to be like, yeah, throw it at that tree there and then fade in. Kristen not quite getting the ground play or just maybe putting it a little too low. She'll be in circle two with that similar downhill putt that we just saw Holland have. That looks like some good power on Haiti's shot here. Maybe too good. I think that tall grass helped her. <laughs> wow. And again, this one does, it does feel farther than 335, just because you do kind of have to swing it. Yeah, pretty nose up off mm -hmm. the tee. This looks solid from Cadence as well. That oh, yeah. is perfect. Wow. Great shot. That was her Neo paradigm. Five people parked this hole today. We watched Evelina and Cadence is the second one we get to watch. Again. Look at this little roll, so good. So friendly. I mean, it was a great shot before that, but phenomenal. Kristen for birdie. Almost the exact same putt as Holland. She's done that a couple times today, honestly. Mm -hmm. There we go. Wow. Nice I like downhill. That, I like that Kristen's not too greedy. Like she's just going every other birdie, unlike <laughs> Holland. <laughs> <laughs> Who's trying to get them all. Great putt. Oh, she, business, Kristen? Mm-hmm. Wow. Always. Yeah. I don't know. I looked a little more intense than normal. <laughs> In a good way. Mm -hmm. She looks focused. Here's Haiti for her birdie. It's a strong bid, but she's going to hit dead center band. 
Deanne from where she went out of bounds. Unfortunately, oh, she doesn't have to deal with too many trees. That's nice. And a good comebacker. Can't even call it a comebacker. Yeah. It's just a good Scramble, par save. Par save, yep. Yeah. Words. And that's going to wrap up the front here. Kristen putting some nice birdies together. Every other one <laughs> for the last six holes or so. Uh, is two down, but Holland Hanley, the story of the front nine, six down. Yeah, six down through nine on a nine hole uh, section that averaged at almost two strokes over par for wow. a lot of the field. So that's uh, <laughs> just unbelievable. But shooting under par in general is great out here today, especially with those misty conditions. Looks like to be in the top 10, you have to be one of those people though that are doing it. They, yep, they sure are doing it. <laughs> I do think the back nine, can play harder. There are still birdies, but there's a little bit more danger, I think. So. Yes, it definitely does have all of the hard holes in the back nine. Yeah. I believe all of the top five hard holes. Cool. So it come, gets come watch that with us. It gets cool, funner. I was gonna say <laughs> worse, but yeah, come so hang, fun. Come hang with us. We got nine more holes for round one of the Music City Open. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Honk. <laughs>